Okay, we've got a, a, uh, a sandwich 200 with a Volcano V3D V6 hot end kit. This is the first time we're printing. Just keep an eye on the ring. I'm doing the redoing the power supply clip for the board down here. Um, let's have a look. You can see that the uh, I mean the nozzles are like 14 millimeters long and the aluminium heater block is completely the wrong way around. It's like um, I'm not sure if it's 20 millimeters high but it's at least at least 18. Um, I've no idea how this is going to go. Um, I've set it set it to try to do uh, uh, 30 cubic millimeters. A, uh, a 30 millimeters, cubic millimeters a second, I think. Uh, I think so the acceleration settings are um, reasonably uh, uh, reasonably uh, low. So the only place we will see things go horribly wrong will be in the middle of the plastic when it gets up to speed is why I picked this particular part so it's going to be nice at that end, nice at that end and then previously it was just completely shite in the middle. Um, I might have thrown a piece in the bin. Yeah this one, this one you can. I uh, wish I had a better camera. Ah yeah that's blindingly obvious you can see. Very nice because the acceleration settings were quite low. Very nice there, very nice there, and completely crap in the middle. Um, interestingly, towards the top of this part, it got all right, it did all right. But, but hey, anyway, bin. Okay, so this is first layer. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Um, this is with a Duet 085 by the way, um, uh, running Rep Wrap DC42's Rep Wrap 40, whoa! Rep Wrap 42 firmware. DC42's uh, Rep Wrap firmware build. Uh, 1.10 or something like that. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Whoa! Cool! Wow. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if we can see any stratification on the sides yet. Doesn't look like it. I'm not seeing any zagging there. Uh, let me just, oh God, this is still a printer in development, you can tell. Uh, why is it getting on the fucking thing? Uh, <laughs> help. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm really, it's hard to tell on that, but I'm really not seeing anything. That's absolutely fine. And uh, I can't remember this thing, but this is apparently according to Cura, this is 30 cubic millimeters a second, which is awesome. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. That's yeah, that's it's brilliant. It's wow. I mean it's going really quick. Thumbs up guys. This yeah. Please thumbs up this video, it's really shiny. <laughs> Please thumbs up this video because it's really shiny. Shiny bits of plastic, yeah, yeah, it is. Well the other one was a total mess. <laughs> uh, it's, it's you know a thing. Now that's... you just told told the world. Yeah it did. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This one's doing all right. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. 
Ah, I can see a tiny bit of... Exploding. Yeah, there's a, it's a... And second um, part, and second part, don't pull thumbs up the whole video because there's a bloody mess there. Right, that's a tiny bit fast. Tiny bit too fast. I can see some bit of unhappiness at the at this edge, but it seems to have disappeared in subsequent layers. Yeah, it's brilliant. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Uh, my brain, because you haven't noticed, this is a core XY design. Um, and it's a folding printer as well. So, um, uh, this is one half of the box and the other half. Um, the, uh, the top is using 52mm right angle random corner bracket off of eBay. Um, it's joined, uh, the top is joined in two places on each side. One, two, three, four. Um, and then the base is... Uh, it's hard to see. Uh, right, just in, I stick my fingers in this thing. This there. That's the one for the Z thing. And then there's one at the base as well. There, uh, one there, one there. Now, the only thing is that I put in some indentation. I don't know if you see that. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Here. I put in some indentation, and I, of course, because of previously printed part, it didn't print properly. Um, uh, uh, thing and, and that this extrusion is stopped from going far enough, such that bloody nuisance. There's a one millimeter gap in between these two rails, which this is supposed. This part is supposed to clamp. And you can see I poked a hole for that to go through, so that it can hook onto the edge there. Um, that's supposed to clamp there, and unfortunately, you've got a one millimeter gap. And when I pick the printer up. Uh, stick my feet on the stick your feet on here and here and pull it up and then twist it, twist the printer. Um, you can see it flexing between those two the two rails. I think don't really want to do a total disassembly job right at the moment, but I'll do that later and, and uh, see how see how sort that out. Um, that is looking pretty good. I can see a couple of couple of flaws in there but I tell you it is one hell of a lot better than the uh, than the default um, uh, 10 millimeter high block which is now packed up in there um, I can see that that block is only uh, 10 millimeters high whereas in, in the volcano set it's turned that way up pretty awesome stuff I don't know why they just don't put the um, Volcano kit um, sold by default with the uh, with these uh, E3D P6 hot ends. It makes that much of a difference. I should imagine some people would prefer the extra space because you do have to redesign the printer. I mean, at the moment I've just rigged a pretty bit of plastic on top of the sellotape there to get the extra space. <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'll reprint that. Uh, uh, the 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 the. the said holder later so that it goes um, a bit further down <laughs> I think yeah I've lost um, uh, 10 mil on the uh, Z travel on this um, but to be absolutely honest I don't care I mean that's fantastic you know I've still got 180 millimeters of Z travel on this go oh, you dare your thumbs out the picture <laughs> um, so yeah I like that. I'll let that finish. I'll take a photograph of it and upload it. But yeah, um, there you go. One, one 3D printer that fits into a box that's only uh, 250 millimeters high. Uh, so the dimensions, outer dimensions of the box are 415 by 405. No, 440 by 405 by 250. Um, yeah. I know it's brilliant, isn't it? Bzz, 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 bzz. All right, thank you very much.